Hey, my name is Gala. I'm Looker Studio expert and the founder of Gailey Report. Today, my video will be really unusual for me. I would like to talk about uh, one of my real projects. Uh, I updated design for Looker Studio dashboard for PPC management software called Adalysis. They asked me to move their reports from Universal Analytics to G4 and update design for Google Ads dashboards. Uh, in this video, I will present Google Ads dashboards. You can see picture before and picture after. I think this page is uh, really, you can see the difference here. Here, there is no data because this is uh, Google Analytics, Google Ads test account. But anyway, you can see some design structure and the layout. I had a really nice review for this work. Client is happy. So I want to share this work with you. Um, this is dashboard. This was original dashboard. We will not do the whole dashboard during this video, but I would like to make some notes about my work and explain how do I work with layout. Uh, this is final version. You can see the difference. I hope so. So uh, let's copy this dashboard. New data source, Google Ads, sample data. And you have this. Uh, everybody has this, so it's Looker Studio default data. Um, yes, so I have my new dashboard. And uh, how do I start to work with this? First of all, I go to the client website and see what do they have there? They have main colors blue, header is white. Um, they normally use black color for font. Also, they use as a secondary color, they use light blue and they use yellow color. Nice. So, and rounded corners. I remember these ideas. Mm, then I use, then I go to my copy of dashboard. I go to theme and layout. Customize them, uh, and I change something, some moments here. Uh, main, um, okay, company background is white. Um, I use eyedropper extension for Google Chrome. I can pick up color, copy this name, and use this as a main color. I want to use this as a uh, Accent style. I was a. I want to use it as a link color. Also, it will be my first color in our palette. Um, I will make this transparent, and I think that is it. And I will check. Take the second color. Copy code. Copy this code. Oh my god, I closed my window history. Yep. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, I was here. Theme and layout, customize. And my secondary color will be light blue. Um, same stuff, I uh, same approach. I change all colors in chart palette and I try to use I use I try to use only these colors when I work on the dashboard. Uh, what we notice is that client website doesn't have shadow and this element they have so we want to remove it. Uh, maybe I can even select all elements on the page and remove shadow of all of them and I want to Okay, for logo I don't want, but for other all elements I want to make rounded corners. Uh, perfect, and I don't need border, almost for nothing. Already much better. And then I want to move data range picker uh, to the right top corner. Uh, I think it's kind of on the website 
Skyline has a big button, start free trial. Uh, we can we don't have buttons, but we have this date range figure, and I want to make it uh, dark blue. Um, yeah, dark blue with white font, and um, I want to change this one. Yes, now it looks nice. Uh, so I'm satisfied with this. Then I see how that I have enough space on the right and the left. Uh, on the right and on the left uh, of the page. Uh, then I want to update these elements. I want to make them light blue, use secondary color. Um, and this is really huge. I'm not sure that I need it. Uh, you can see that we don't have com campaigns here, but it is not. Uh, we use filters, and if I, if I remove filters uh, here, if I remove filters here, excludes shopping and search network on them. Uh, okay. Yeah, so we have campaigns just because of the filter. We have no data. Um, even I can think we can do it a bit more smaller. Kind of. Yeah, or maybe I can update something here. Uh, what is here? Da, 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 da. Header. Background. I want to make same. And that it will be the same, and this I want to change like this. Mm -hmm. Or maybe I would like to make it really contrast. Yeah, I like this one. Then I can copy and past style, past on the style to the second filter. Yep, ready. Uh, then next important thing what should be done are its alignment. So we align all element. Okay, this as well. We align all elements. This should be like grid. It should be more up. Uh, this we can align on the right side. This you can align on the horizontal right and move a bit. Uh, it already makes dashboard nicer and more organized. So this elements I want to make with white background, but I add here a thin line. What else uh, we can see here? Uh, we use so this is two elements we should align as well and this all these score boxes yes already some organized first space became more organized what else um, what can I see here so here we have uh, center alignment here we have left alignment here left here center uh, it is not nice and if you can to use only left alignment or on the center your picture will look much nicer so i selected all score boxes and i want to make them align by center um, rounded corners without any border and maybe I want to make it mm, okay and even maybe a bit smaller smaller font size this is 28 and I want to make it 24 already now already maybe a bit better and uh, I want to make them a bit 
separate these two elements and i think that is it oh also what should i check i should check that this element on the same line with this oh sorry vertical button this element same line we cannot be on the same line but here we can be on the same line we can we check this one um, but actually i think we can make it we have these lines here that i cannot move uh, but generally i try to make to align everything what i can and if i can i should do it mm, kind of kind of so really the main point what did i do it already looks much better here we don't have enough space i would like to move to these elements a bit up i think we can do it and this as well same we can do alignment button this vertical top it's a bit go up Uh, point is if we can align something let's align uh, we have three elements we can distribute vertically um, vertical top and again distribute vertically uh, we can see that here are two lines that we can easily remove so i will make all these boxes a bit bigger interesting why i'm here Control c past special yeah uh, yeah i did one line here and i think that is it with this page uh let's check what we had what we have right now so this is original one uh logo and data range picker at the same place and shadow different type different alignment and this is our final page so how we updated it mm. in the view mode um, you can see we organized data we applied customer colors we added space we added same space between elements where we can do it um, and already this page this page looks much better uh, same stuff i did with other pages um, this is our final report you can see a second page with these lines uh, i updated some tables but basically the logic is the same everywhere and the second dashboard um, same logic different colors different alignment different uh, like shadow no shadow and here we added space and organized element and apply colors that fit for the client website that is it what i wanted to tell you about this if you want to find templates you can find them on the to, to, to on the analysis website they have some free templates you can use it if you want um or you can create your own one mm, i think that is it i'm happy to share with you this video hope you like it and i think it's really important to see a real project and see how how like looker studio work bi work looks in a real case hope you like this video let me know about this in the comment and talk to you soon